you, you're not considered an Israelite, man. You're a Gentile. And, and like I always say, Gent Gentiles are not going to be saved. Israelites are going to be saved. You go, a Gentile that come into the faith and understand he's an Israelite is no longer a Gentile. And proof of that is in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Yeah, Hosea uh, chapter 1, one right. Romans chapter 9, uh, Romans chapter 11, etc., right. etc. The one in Corinthians, letter went to these dumb idols. Yeah, you know? Know? Galatians 3, right. Galatians 4. Right. And that's what they don't understand. A Gentile ain't going to be saved. A Gentile going to wake up to the fact that he's an Israelite, man. <laughs> so when it say wicked, it's talking about you, you niggas that ain't understanding what your nationality or the laws and statutes and commandments that you're supposed to follow. Uh, verse 9, but I, will but I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Right, the God of Jacob, which is who? The nation of Israel, man. And the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad from one end of the earth to the other. Go ahead. Verse 10, all the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. Right, all the exaltations that the so-called other nations have exalted themselves thinking that they're above the Most High. The Most High say he's going to cut that shit off, man. Why? Because he the one promoted you to that high state level, just like he did with the Babylonians, the Persians, the Medes, Egyptians. We can go on and on, man. The Most High did that. And this is the only book that states that. All them other books are trash can, toilet paper, man. But the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Right. The horns of the righteous, which are the Israelites, man. One third of the nation of Israel, and eventually the whole nation of Israel. That's who's going to be exalted. The ones that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And more importantly, the one that the Most High chose. That's right. Plain and simple. That's it. Again, right. Right. It's, hey, what's the. Uh, is that the personal or just business? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got, hey, you got to keep stating that because yeah. a motherfucker think, oh, y'all proud, y'all. No. This is what the Most High decreed. We don't need right. right. We don't know we part of the elect. We just doing his bidding, man, the bidding of the Heavenly Father. Why? Because this is what a man's supposed to do. That's right. I got it. Back here. Okay. Uh, it's Ecclesiastics 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. But this is the whole duty of man. Right. So if you're not doing that, you're not considered a man. That's what declares you a man. And that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to be men. And Lord willing, if we keep doing this, if we do it to the end, the most I say he's going to say, it's plain and simple. It's all, you all, you're going to be known by your fruits. And your fruits equate to attributes. Attributes of what? Doing the work of the Lord. Being a man of the Lord, Lord willing. Go ahead on that option. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined, and the number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his vows that that he cannot pass. Right. So the most the most high already wrote it up on his on his little to-do list, on his planner. Like, okay, I'm gonna let the white man rule, because uh, Revelation tell you that he shall be loose for a short season. So the most high already propagated how long you devil was gonna rule, man. Right. So hey, guess what? The Most High ain't no nigga. He not going to miss his deadline. <laughs> the, the time that he appoint, he ain't going to, damn, oh, shit. If I ain't getting my, 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 my phone ain't ringing, let me know, you know? No. I didn't get the DM. <laughs> <laughs> you know? When the Most High set it up for you practice to be thrown down, it's going to happen, man. They think the Most High best sleep, man. The right. Most High, <laughs> he doesn't sleep nor slumber. Right. And everything right. that happens is according to his will. That's right. So this little um, rulership that the so-called white man got going on, the Lord knew that was going to happen, right. and he know exactly when um, it's going to go down. Right. The Lord ain't up there smoking weed, and he just vibing, <laughs> and he don't give a fuck about you motherfuckers being homosexuals and um, polluting the earth, and you so-called white man touching the apple of the um, Lord's eye. Right. The Lord cares about that, right. and he has it the, the right time when he going to get your ass. Right. Right. But cause, and the scripture tell us, because, you know, we'd be like, Lord, like, because the prophets did that. Like, Lord, why you ain't executing judgment on these heathens, man? The fuck, man? Look what they doing on the earth. The, mo the most high is long-suffering, man. Good. Shit, to us word, Lord right. willing. To, to us, us word. word. That was basically a lesson that the most high taught of uh, the elect and for uh, 
by extension, the rest of the nation of Israel. Uh, this is what happens when uh, you wicked, man. Right. When, when you when you want to be wicked and, and wickedness uh, takes over the whole planet Earth, this is this is this, this is what's going to be the state of the world, man. Right. Because our people thought that they could just be wicked and be God's chosen people too, and, 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 and be uh, right, uh, be the sons of the Most High at the same time, and everything was going to be okay, man. The Most High was not all right with that, man. The Most High wasn't all right with us uh, worshiping idols. And committing adultery and doing all manner of wickedness. No, the reason why he was not okay with that is because he set us up as kings and priests and prophets and judges over these other nations, man. So if we didn't do what we were supposed to do the right way, the other nations don't think it, it was okay to continue in their wickedness, man. All right. So that's why the Most High put us in slavery under these under these heathens to show us uh, the effects of wickedness on the planet Earth, man. All right. To do what? So. We can have that no, right pictures, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures, no pictures, you know, and that's in a nutshell, that's that's what it's about, man, the most high want to give us that righteous battle, to know wickedness and to know righteousness, Solomon said that, you're giving me the understanding to know, you know, that, and that's a part of being righteous, knowing wickedness and, and, and knowing righteousness, man, and hey, and the nation of Israel, hey, we don't have our share of wickedness, man. We see what it is, especially in these times, man. We see what wickedness is, man. And, and like I was telling the brother yesterday, man, we sitting down eating, you know, and we having a spiritual conversation right in the midst of that two faggots walk in, man. And I'm like, damn, like, what if I want to be right? What if I just want to focus on being righteous? You can't do that shit here, man. That's why we hastening the day the most high destroy this shit. That's right! And the rest, the rest of you niggas want to relish in this shit. Oh, that's on him. That's him. I ain't, I ain't got nothing against gays. But guess what? You join to him, you're going to be thrusting through, man. Uh -huh. Fuck you people, man. That's, that's, that's crazy. Right. That's crazy. Yesterday, got off of work. It's Friday. Get your little drink from the liquor store. You know, feeling good. Uh, got the old school um, radio station on, vibing. Next thing you know, I see a motherfucking... Um, well, a theme, a, a theme, <laughs> theme right, right. walking down the street, man. A man dressed up as a woman and shit. Fuck up my whole vibe, man. Yep. That shit should not exist. That's right, you, everybody should feel that way. That shit should not exist. Right. That's that's anti Christ, man. Anti -Christ. Who you call Christ, man? That's anti nature, man. That's anti everything righteous. Right. <laughs> that's, we, funny. No, no, that's funny you mentioned that because a news article came out that out here in Miami. Um, some dude in Burger King kissed his boyfriend, yeah. oh. and two Jakes saw that and started beating his ass down. And, they, and he knew, like, um, UFC, one of the Jakes, and he beat this dude to the pulp. <laughs> and he had to go to the hospital, man. Hey, get up, it's up, 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 up. Hey, let up. Warm your shot. Warm your shot. Warm your Damn, Joe. And perfect precept is to show you that the Lord uh, is in charge of all this, and he doesn't sleep. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I... Even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, okay. and I Just heal. A sign. Just a sign. Neither a is sign. there yeah. any yeah. that can deliver out of my hand. Bring it again. Uh, sign. Uh, There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. Right. This is the Heavenly Father. We're not talking about Jehovah. Uh, 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 uh who you call, ignorantly call God, we talking about Yahweh, man. The heavenly power, the one that created the universe, man. Go ahead up. I kill, and I make no alive. Picture, right, man. so when somebody dies, no no thank you. When somebody dies, the Most High did it. He, he may have used a, a human being to do it, but the Most High decreed for that person to be put to death, man. Nothing happens unless the Most High gives the okay. All the death angels, Satan, everybody works for the Most High. That's that's Israelite 101, man. That's right. Go ahead. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that could deliver out of my hand. Right. So the Most High has, he, hey, he got a fiery date with you so-called white people, man. And the scripture says there's nobody that can deliver out of his hands. So, hey, that's what we come out here to proclaim. Well, hey, whether y'all hear that shit or not, we don't give a fuck. We just got we got a job to do. We got to be men, right? Like Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 said. We got to come out here and keep these commandments. And one of the commandments is to tell the so-called white man, your power structure is going to be destroyed.
and then you're going into slavery for a thousand years, and then you're going to be extinct. That's right. In a nutshell. God, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no Yahweh besides me. Right, there's no God besides him, because a nigga get it twisted. You know, Psalm 82 and 6, you are all gods and sons of the Most High. But you shall die like men. The brother just told you the Most High don't sleep. He don't eat, he don't drink. Hey, that's the creator, man. Perfect so, example, in the Middle East, mad abs dying every day. Right. <laughs> Morning time, 3 a.m., right. 6 a.m., 12 a.m., every hour, every, every, hour minute. every minute, somebody's fucking dying. That's of the Lord. <laughs> that's of the Lord, man. Yeah. Why? Because y'all heathens, man. The most high don't give a fuck about y'all, man. He don't give a fuck about the so-called white man. He just used him to do what? To punish this nation, man. He set up the bases of men. The bottom feeder, man. The, mo the, the so-called white man is a shit eater, man. That's right. right. God. A cocksucker. God. You fucking devil. You white people, you're cocksuckers, man. God. By nature. And the most right. I set you people up over us to punish us, man. Right. And we understand it now. So guess what? When the most high pour his spirit out, we're going to destroy you devils, man. Oh, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 5. I am the Lord, and there is none else. There is no Yahweh besides me. I guarded thee, though thou hast not known me. Verse 6. That they may know me from the rising of the sun, and from the west, that there is none besides me. Right, there is none beside the Most High. And pretty soon you people going to see that shit. When you see dead bodies littered up and down Biscayne Boulevard, you're gonna know that the most high did it. That's right. Cause you're gonna you're gonna try to use your analogy. If if there's a God, why is all this death and murder and mayhem? <laughs> the scriptures say the most high did it. Why? Because he coming back to judge this place, man. This shit is wicked as fuck. And if you delirious, if you think the most high says God bless America, you fucking delirious, man. God hates America. That's right! I am the Lord, and there is none else. Verse 7, I form the light and create darkness. He forms the light, and what's the light? Parabolically, this truth, man, the Most High formed this, and he created darkness, which is all you left-hand motherfuckers, man, all the Illuminati, the so-called white man, all you wicked-ass Israelites. The Most High created that darkness. Go ahead. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Right. He makes peace and he creates evil. Evil means bad times. All that shit you see going on in the Middle East, 9-11, all that shit, man. The Most High created that, man. Right. Go ahead. I, the Lord, do all these things. Right. The Most High does all these things. Like we said earlier, that's Israelite 101, man. That's Bible 101. Until you understand that the Most High creates everything, you can't begin to understand this. That's right. Plain and simple. The person, the Come person. on. Yeah. yeah, you were talking about um, the faggots and shit. Esau. Esau, Esau let these faggots run, run wild, man. Yep. Um, this is Sirach 10 and 3. A otherwise king destroyeth his people. That's what Esau do, man. Esau fuck his people up in all, all fashions, all type of manners, man. Not just his people, the whole fucking world, man. All right, he let faggots run around, lesbians run around, chemtrails, everything. He does everything to destroy you, man. None to build you up. That's an unwise king, man. I, I got, I'm gonna jump down to verse four. Um, it's rock 10 and four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Right, the power of the earth in the hand of the Hey, we that, hey, we don't brought out three, four scriptures saying that, man. How long, you people? How long, Lord? Will you simple ones love simplicity? We know how long till nuclear missiles uh, is raining down on this bitch what? like raindrops, man. Go ahead, up. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Go ahead, up. Yeah, cause a white man, he's not profitable to nothing, man. And like yeah, we nah. say just destroy everything, man. When the Lord set up his elect, 144,000, one-third, under, under Yahweh's side, man, every, everything is going to be profitable unto you, man. No, no death, 
not, nothing to vex your spirit or nothing like that, man. The men that he's setting up is profitable. They're good for you, man. The white man is detrimental to you, man. Right. Because what the scriptures say, uh, Proverbs, when the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice, man. Everybody walking up and down this street is in mourning. If you say that you happy, you are fucking delusional. How the fuck are you happy when you at risk of catching colon cancer? You can't eat healthy, man. All that uh, 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 organic shit, that shit grown in the lab, man. You can't eat healthy here. You probably can be eat a little healthier than a motherfucker shopping at Save a Lot or Zuby. But you're not eating healthy, man. But you niggas love it here, man. Guess what? The most high got a hey. He got an issue with the, the, the rulers of this earth and he gonna destroy him, man. And if you if you hey, scriptures say you join to him, you're gonna be thrust through, man. That's right. Hey y'all, I can ask him. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, and let's say the unwise kings, right? Lord willing, Lord willing, every brother up here, brothers teach him, be part of the elect, and we make it to the kingdom, man. We're not gonna be feeding our slave GMOs, man. We gonna feed them so that they, they, they can live and build our fucking kingdom, man. The white man, the white man's a fucking asshole, he unwise, man. He'll be feeding us good if he was wise. Hey, you niggas gonna build up my kingdom, man. You heathens gonna build up my kingdom, man. But what he doing? He, he, he putting you, you motherfuckers to death, man. All right, in the kingdom, we gonna make sure y'all fed, y'all sustained. We not gonna give y'all buffet, but we gonna make sure y'all got enough energy to build our fucking kingdom, man. All right. Hey, and it get, it get hot as fuck over there in Israel, boy. Like a 119, 120, baby. In the, in, in the dead of summer, man. So, hey, we gotta make sure y'all can sustain, cause, hey, that, hey, if you, you over, you, you get uh, uh, dehydrated, you overheat, you gotta sit down, but you can't do no work. If I don't give a fuck. They dehydrate, can't do no work. So we gonna make sure you in uh, 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 working spirit, man. Continual employment. That's right. Give y'all nutrients. Right. <laughs> you gonna get your nutrients, cause you gotta be able to take the ass beat, and we gonna give y'all also. Exactly. But they not gonna have spiritual power. Mm -hmm. They gonna be mortal men. Have to back this up. This is um, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, man. The scripture that Brother just brought said they was unwise kings, man. The reason they unwise uh, uh, is because they don't know Yahweh Shem Al Shah because if they knew they wouldn't have wrote those uh, unrighteous decrees, man. Those unrighteous decrees decrees that they write is everything contrary to the Bible. That's why in, in Isaiah 24 it says the, the earth language and mourneth, man. If, like something simple like the brethren saying GMOs, man. If they had read the scriptures and they were wise enough, they would know that they're not supposed to split no type of genes, period, man. They would know, they would have known to give the earth a, a, a year to replenish itself, man, to get the full nutrients out of what they plant, man. That's why the Lord say, go on to them, which is death and destruction. Death to the motherfucking evil man. Right? If you knew better, you wouldn't have made uh, homosexuality, uh, homosexual marriages legal across the whole um, United States. Because the Lord set up so Sodom and Gomorrah as an ex example. Right. But if you do that, the Lord gonna fucking burn you up. Yeah, the Lord gonna fucking burn you up. As soon as you do homosexuality, Across the whole land, the Lord gonna fuck you up. Shit, um, the scriptures say um, that Esau is wiser than Daniel, meaning that they know, they know, they have knowledge of many things. But if they really knew the right thing to do, they would never touch the apple of the Lord's eye, or they would have never entreated us the way that they entreated us. Because as the scriptures say in Isaiah what forty seven, the Lord gave us up to them because He was angry at us. But the so called white man showed us no mercy. They showed us no mercy. And that go back to what the brother was saying, feeding us GMOs and all of that, um, raping our people, um, burning our people, hanging us up. If they was wise, they would have um, put left us in a state where we at least would have been healthy to build up their um, country more and more. And now look at it, the shit falling down bit bit by bit. Got it, what, D, D minus uh, 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 infrastructure Yeah, grade. D minus. And you had A. <laughs> the A. That's a beautiful scripture, brother. You had the strongest people on the planet under your wings for 500 plus years, and this is what you came up with. This is what you come up with? In the 1800s, they done built up the country, built a White House, built infrastructure, 
And since then, what? Shit. Yeah, since 1800. Are you kidding me? What about the inventions, man? Right. Oh man. Let me get this. Let me get this one scripture. Why? Why? Why they? Why? Why is that? Because John chapter ten verse ten says, "The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy." Right. And that's all you white people done did, man. You a thief, and all you came was to steal and destroy. And that's what you've done. Not just to these people, because these are the only people that it matter. But that's what you've done to all nations and all uh, 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 land masses, man. You done, you done just went, raped, pillaged, robbed, and destroyed the shit, man. To where you got a hole, how you get a hole in the ozone layer? <laughs> they got big ass uh, trash uh, dump, uh, 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 compiling the trash out there in the West Coast where all the trash in the ocean just build up there, man. They'll never report that shit. But we know that's because of you wicked ass devils, man. Right. Just smash his ass. <laughs> Bro, man. You see? And, 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 and that's the spirit we were just talking about that. Look, look at all this fucking land. And look how narrow the expressway is, man. You fucking de everything y'all do is stupid, man. Everything, man. How, look how many people get killed in automobiles every year, man. That's an invention of the so-called white man. Look at this, all this concrete, man, everywhere. Destroying the vegetation, all that shit, man. The most high gave you a chance to rule, and what did you do? Fuck it up. 